Hello, I'm Greg Rao from UPT, and welcome to another episode of UPT TV. Today, we're going to show you the two different ways to stow the lines in the semi stowless bag. The first is obviously you, you pack the canopy into the bag as you normally would. I recommend double stowing to ensure that the canopy stays inside the bag until you get the line stretch. If you don't double stow, at least make sure there's enough tension on the lines that you can pick the bag up without the stow coming out, whether you do single or double stow. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to stow the lines by dragging the rig towards me. If you're going to drag the rig towards you, use a drag mat. Hold on. And this will help to increase the lifespan of your back pad. So the first thing I do is a lot of people have been stowing the lines on top of the bag. This is kind of awkward. So we, the bag has been designed so you can stow it on the pouch itself. The first thing you do is bring the lines down to the center of the bag and you're gonna bring that first bite of line to the hinge point of the flap on either side. It does not matter whether you go right or left. And then all you do is reach straight across and you're gonna bring the next stow to the hinge point of the opposing tuck tab. As you go back and forth consecutively just put the next one inside the first one and what this helps is it helps to decrease the amount of bulk in the flap. You do not have to leave 14 to 18 inches of line anymore because all of the, the stoves are coming out of the center of the bag anymore. We don't have to worry about stoves hanging up neither side. So you only need about maybe about a hand's width that you then roll the bag on top of the stows and go from side to side. It does not matter which side you stow first. And that tuck tab goes inside the pocket on either side. At this point, then you just pick the bag up and then just stow those last two tuck tabs. And from there, you close the container as you normally would. Lines to the bottom of the container. The other way to stow the lines, if you don't want to drag the container towards you, is to walk back up to the container. So as the last video, my canopy is already in the bag. I want to ensure that I have enough tension on my stows that I can pick the bag up. And at this point, all I'm going to do is just walk down to the container where I would end up. And I'm going to stow them the same way, starting from the center. I'm going to bring that bite to the hinge point of the tuck tab. It does not matter which side I am on. And then I just keep going back and forth from hinge point to hinge point. On either tuck tab, bringing the stows inside the previous stow to help in bulk distribution. Once again, I only need about a hand's width of line outside the, the tuck tab. At this point, I'm just going to rotate the bag on top of the lines and then stow the tuck tabs from side to side. Once again, rotating the bag up, stowing the tuck tabs on either side and then closing the container once again according to manufacturer's instructions. This has been Greg Rao for UPT-TV.